Welcome back to my channel. My name is Aisha if you guys didn't know that already and in today's video I have a makeup tutorial. This was actually a requested look from my best of beauty 2015 video um, A bunch of you guys kept asking what I was wearing on my eyes and if I could do a makeup tutorial on it So I figured I would record it for you guys. I'm sorry. It took so long to do it But um, I'm really happy. I did end up recording it because I did like kind of fall in love with this makeup all over again um, and in case any of you guys are wondering this is kind of bougie. It's fake fur, so don't don't worry about that. So the only thing that's different um, between that makeup look and this one is that um, I changed that bold lip that I had earlier um, to this like nude lip, um, and I like it a lot better. So I hope you guys do as well. If you're just checking out my channel for the first time, please make sure you guys subscribe down below um, so that you can keep updated with the rest of my videos. And if you guys do end up enjoying this video, please give it a thumbs up. Um, it just lets me know that you guys enjoy my content, and I'd really appreciate it. Um, but yeah, without further ado, if you guys want to see this makeup look, then just keep on watching. So first things first, I'm going in with my Too Faced Shadow Insurance and I'm just going to put that all over my eyelid with my finger. And to set that, I'm just taking a bit of my MAC Studio Fix Powder and I'm just going to sweep that all across my lids. And this will just prevent any eyeshadows from um, kind of like skipping over my eyelid. Next I'm going in with Milk Chocolate from my Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette. And on a Morphe M505 blending brush, I'm going to be placing that right above my crease. And this is going to act as a transition color. Next, with the exact same brush, I'm going to be taking Chickadee by Makeup Geek and I'm going to be using that kind of in the same area just to warm up the crease a little. And I'm also bringing this color right above my crease in this area over here. Next, I'm taking my favorite shade by Makeup Geek. This is Cocoa Bear, and I'm going to be placing that into my crease and kind of all over the eye, just avoiding the center of my lid. I'm just taking um, Semi Sweet, which is also from the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette. I switched to this brush by Royal and Langnickel. Um, it's their double sided crease and smudge brush, and I'll be using the crease side. I do have a 20% off coupon code for Royal and Langnickel. Not for this specific brush set, you can use it on pretty much anything on the website. And I kind of already started this. Um, because I didn't realize I wasn't recording um, But what I was doing with this color was I was just kind of deepening up the crease a little more as you can see um, But I'm keeping it a little lower than the cocoa bear so you can still kind of see cocoa bear and chickadee um, But I am just kind of deepening up the overall look So right now I'm just taking a little more of my Too Faced shadow insurance and just tapping this kind of on the center of my lid This is just to make the color that I'll be putting on next a little more vibrant next I'm going into Makeup Geek's Ritzy, which is a duochrome shadow. Um, it's kind of like a duochrome between a brown and a green. So I'm just going in with my finger and I'm just going to tap that into the center of my lid. And then I'm going to go in with this flat um, shader brush by Royal and Langnickel and I'm just going to kind of pat that in. The good thing about this shadow is that because the duochrome is mixed with green and brown, the brown shade um, in the shadow will blend really nicely with the rest of the eye look. And now I'm just doing the same with the other eye. So I forgot to mention this, but right now I'm just going in with Makeup Geek's uh, Peach Smoothie, I believe. And I'm just placing that onto my brow bone with a flat uh, synthetic shader brush. Now I'm just tight lining my eyes with the Rimmel Exaggerate Waterproof Eye Definer. And now I'm just going in with my NYC Liquid Eyeliner. This is just in black. So that day I actually used the Cocoa Lashes in the style Queen Bee. 
but I forgot to bring them with me when I came back home so today I'll be using the Ardell Wispies so I'm gonna put these on and I'll be right back so this is what the Ardell Wispies look like on so now I'm just gonna move on to the rest of my face the first thing that I'll be doing is spraying the Urban Decay Chill Makeup Setting Spray um, just all over my face um, I'm not gonna use a primer I'm just gonna use this to kind of refresh my face because it's a little dry right now I would normally use a primer but I'm filming this late at night and after this I'm just going to bed before my foundation I'll be using the Lancome Tinted Oil Foundation mine is in the shade 460 Suede W just realized I forgot to color correct and I'm gonna take my LA Pro Conceal in the orange and I'm just gonna do some color correcting around my mouth and I'm also going to take this a little bit under my eyes as well where it's a little darker and now I will move back on to my foundation Now for concealer, I'm going to be mixing in a bit of this Sephora Bright Future Gel Serum Concealer in the shade um, 14 Toffee, as well as my LA Pro Conceal in the shade Fawn. I'm going to give a little spritz to my beauty blender and then just blend that out. I'm going to set that under eye uh, right away with a little bit of my Ben Nye Banana Powder. I just got that all over my shirt. <laughs> I'm going to leave on a bit of that excess powder just so that it bakes my under eyes. I'm also going to be taking a bit of that LA Pro Concealer and just taking it down my nose. And a little bit on my forehead as well. So now I'm just dusting off um, that powder. And I'm just taking my sleek contour kit and I'm going to be contouring down the sides of my nose with this uh, blending brush. I'm also going to be contouring my cheekbones. As a base for my highlight, I'm taking the Sephora Radiant Luminizing Drops and I'm just going to tap that on all the places that I want to highlight. And then on top of that, I'm going to be using Becca's Shimmering Skin Perfector in Champagne Pop and I'm just going to highlight again. I'm going to zoom you guys in to finish off the eyes. So right now I'm just taking Becca's Champagne Pop again and I'm just placing that under my brow bone just to give a bit more of a pop, no pun intended. And I'm also gonna be placing that in my inner corner. This is the Makeup Forever Aqua Eyes in, I'm guessing brown. And then on a flat definer brush, I'm going back in with Makeup Geek's Cocoa Bear and I'm just smudging that into my lower lash line. And then I'm just taking a deeper brown color this is Mocha by Makeup Geek, and I'm smudging that in the same area. And then for mascara, I'm going in with the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes, and just putting that on my lower lash line. Or lower lashes, sorry. And for blush, I'm going in with my all-time favorite, MAC Pinch Me, and I'm using the Royal & Ling Nickel Dual Fiber Brush to apply this. Now for my lips, I think last time I used um, ColourPop's LAX, but this time I just want to go for something a little more peachy nude. So first I'm going in with my trusty MAC Chestnut Lip Liner. And over top of that I'm going in with Taupe by MAC. And then I'm going to top all of that off with this NYX Butter Gloss in Praline. And then just in the very center, I'm going to go in with this little mini Laura Mercier Bare Naked Lip Gloss. Um, and this is kind of like a milky um, peach color with a lot of gold shimmer. Just adds a little more shine and also just lightens up that color a bit. Um, last but not least, um, just to kind of refresh my makeup because it's looking a teensy bit cakey right now, I'm going to use the Urban Decay Makeup Chill Setting Spray. 
and that completes the look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this makeup tutorial. Sorry it took me so long to finally film it for you guys. I know you guys have been requesting it for so, so long. Um, but if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're just checking out my channel for the first time, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. I post videos every single week. Um, but thanks so much for coming back to my channel, and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye!